And a fair start this time in the men's 100-meter final. Coming up the center of the track, the two Jamaicans, Michael Freighter and Nesta Carter. But look at Travis Padgett of the United States with a great close over the last 30 meters. And Travis Padgett wins in 10 flat on the track in Doha. A little extra tail when you see the 1.4 meters per second, closer to three miles an hour. That's more than they had in the heats. And Padgett clearly shifted gears at around 60 meters. And even though they're all decelerating, he was decelerating less than everyone else. He got his top end speed, held it for longer, and both Carter and Freighter were fading badly. And that's not unusual at this time of the year. One wonders if maybe Padgett might be a little further along in his training than he might want to be when you consider that the Nationals, which will pick the world team, are still seven weeks in the future. Travis Padgett with an early season okay. celebration in 2009 comes all the way to Doha and wins the 100 meters. And here's a quick look at the start again, Dwight. And Padgett did not get a great start. He's fourth from the right. In the middle of the track, you see the two Jamaicans. It's Freighter on the right, Carter on the left. But P Padgett just shifts into overdrive here and almost <laughs> blows Carter's doors off as he went by him so fast. And 10 flat, when you consider those times in Eugene were fantastic. A lot of wind there. He ran 989 there. 